Good Friday morning, everyone. Welcome to AMHQ Early. I'm meteorologist Kelly Cass. And yes, we are now tracking winter storm Uma across the center in both of those locations just above freezing. Here's a look at all the watches and warnings. The darker shade of blue indicating the warnings that stretch from Glasgow, Montana, all the way down into the Quad Cities area. Chicago not quite involved, and we're not really talking about a lot of accumulation for Chicago. Mainly the south side of town is where we could see up to an inch of accumulation, but that's really about it. All right, so one of the ingredients that we need for a snowstorm is your cold air, and we do have that circulating around that area of high pressure. Then we deep down, get down here, we do have the moisture coming in from the Gulf of Mexico as our storm system is developing to the lee of the Rockies, and it's also going to get some wind energy going with this as well. So here's a look at the wintry mix. That's certainly going to be happening in the colder air. Of course, some of you will be getting all snow with this as well, and that's why we've got the potential to see several inches of accumulation. So the blue, that is your snow coming down right now just to the west of Bismarck. It is rain though in places like Pierce, South Dakota and also into Nebraska. So we definitely have a chilly rain going on for some of us. But as you make your way up to the I-94 corridor, we are seeing some snow in the western parts of North Dakota. So we'll see that area of blue start to expand in coverage as we go through later on today. And certainly toward the overnight hours, we're expecting that snow to break out in places like the Twin Cities. There's your Friday evening plans. Looking good so far. But the purple is indicating a wintry mix so that's an approximation of your 32 degree line but we've got the blue yeah, that's all snow. Fargo down to Sioux Falls over towards Minneapolis during the wee hours of your Saturday morning. Snow breaking out from Des Moines over toward the Quad Cities. Not so much for Chicago, but it's going to be windy in Chicago. That east wind gusting around 30 miles per hour throughout the day tomorrow, and that snow will likely break out after the midnight hour. So accumulations, it's a pretty narrow band actually where we're going to see the heaviest snow. Where you see the darker purple in a place like Bismarck, that's 8 to 12 inches possibly. Then you get into that lighter shade of purple, definitely well to the south and west of St. Paul. This is where we're expecting 5 to 8 inches of snow and down towards Cedar Rapids and parts of the Quad Cities area, you guys could see several inches of snow as well. So Bismarck, as I mentioned, it is not just about the precip, the wind. That's going to be carrying those snowflakes as well. Snow and wind right through the early afternoon and even into tonight. Your Friday night plans definitely being impacted right through tomorrow morning with temperatures just barely above freezing. So you know what that means? The heavy wet snow it indoors, whether it's severe or not, lightning is a killer. We take a look at our weekend in view. We do have some thunderstorm activity out there across the Midwest, but north of that, it is all about winter storm Uma, just named this morning with the snow spreading out from the northern plains and eventually scooting through the Quad Cities and eventually the Ohio River Valley as well, where we could see several inches of snow in some places. East Coast looking pretty good for the most part, just clouding up in New York City, 45 degrees. We will see some milder temperatures, though, in the south. Check it out. We've got 71 in Atlanta. Yes, another weekend, another chance of rain, but it's not going to be a lot of rain. And then as you wake your way toward the north, that purple is a wintry mix, but the blue is where we do have a chance of snow, and it could really pile up in some places. It's a narrow band, but it could be very heavy and very impactful. It's a heavy wet snow, too, by the way, so be prepared for power outages as we head for the second half of the weekend. Looking good across the northeast and the Great Lakes region. Down toward the south, though, still a chance of rain. Uh, looks good in Miami, 81 degrees, and here comes more snow for the mountains of the west. Well, we will take a look at the roads coming up at 20 past the hour, where you can be ready for all the seasons here. Time now for your Chick-fil-A breakfast forecast. And as we head out the door here in Columbia, South Carolina, pretty chilly morning. In fact, freeze warnings in effect through about 9 o'clock this morning. You've got the 35 degrees at 7 a.m., but we do warm up eventually into the 40s by the latter end of the commute. Don't forget the shades, the sunglasses as you walk out the door because it will be bright out there for sure. So that's a look at Columbia, South Carolina. Heat, we will likely see some record highs either tied or broken once again in parts of New Mexico and Texas. We do have some 80s and even 90s in the forecast here. Look at Dallas getting up to 84 degrees for tomorrow. We do see winter storm Uma spreading that heavy snow. It's a narrow band, but a very impactful band. We're talking about several inches coming through places like Springfield, Illinois, Indianapolis, over through the Ohio Valley and eventually parts of the Appalachians in the east. Otherwise, Sunday looking pretty dry in the northeast, but rain showers.